One of the hardest challenges um, I'm going to face with training the scout is trying to get it so that the control is on a harness and not on a collar. So he's a five month old puppy. I have a red martingale style collar on him which uh, does pull up um, and tighten around their neck a little bit um, when, um, when you pull on the collar. But right now, I have it, um, the red leash hooked up to a prong collar, a Spengler prong collar. Now, he's a five-month-old puppy. Why do I have a prong collar on a five-month-old puppy? In his case, he's very bouncy, um, when, mostly when he's in the house. It's like a happy dance. He's a puppy, and he's big. Um, he, he's not really a jumper. Um, but he doesn't understand down completely yet. He's doing very well. But my main reason for having him uh, dress like this today, I want to get the control of a prong collar, which is a lot of control. Puppies and dogs in general, um, both prey would go for their neck, and their mothers carry them around by their neck when they're babies. So, come on, we're going. Let's go. I'm talking and not walking, and that's why he's, he's saying, what are you doing? So I have the control collar on. I have the heavier leash hooked to the harness. So when you look at this setup, and I have done it with a cane in my right hand, but right now I've got the camera. Um, right here, I'm pulling on the prong collar and I would rather be doing this with a harness. Now, I think I may have to go to um, the type of harness that has a tall handle on it, or at least something that has um, more than a center pole thing on a harness. All the dog knows from that is I'm trying to pick them up. So I have to look at different harnesses again, reevaluate it. Um, some dogs have tracheal collapse and uh, Coco faced that at the end of her life. So if I can get the same control of a prong collar transferred to a harness, I'm much happier about only needing to need a harness and the dog is much happier, I think. Most vets uh, tend to recommend harnesses over uh, prong collars. So we're going to go for a walk today, and we're going to go up near traffic, and the other reason I have him set up like this, if he tries to bolt, this gives me two secure grips on him. Um, he might get out of a harness, he might get out of a collar, he wouldn't get out of both, more than likely. So when you have a puppy, and maybe a little bit rambunctious one like this one, and you're going to go into a situation where he's not used to it, um, or he might get scared suddenly. With a service dog, you need the dog to be completely indifferent to whatever happens. So while you're training him, this is a way um, to have complete control. I take these, um, the control collar, the Spengler, comes off of him at night. You have to be careful they don't get hung up on cages and, I mean, crates and stuff like that. So complete supervision for yourself as well as for the dog.